Hi, this is Evan Dushevsky, Features Editor with PCMag.com. Uh, we're going to show you some cool tricks that you can do with the Google Chrome. Uh, the first one we're going to go into is how to do a keyword search from different websites directly through your Omnibar. Uh, now I'll show you what that means. Um, so if you go to, say, everyone's favorite Wikipedia, go to wikipedia.org. There we are. As you can tell, I've been there before. Um, now I'm about to go there, but before, just note now that there's just this white file icon. That just means it's a website that I'm going to go to. Um, and then I hit return. And there we are. Now we're just going to do a quick search and I'll show you why in a second. And we're going to search tacos because why not? And here we are on the taco page in Wikipedia. Now uh, what I'll show you is if you go to settings and then you go to search and then uh, in this case Google is my default search but if you hit go to manage search engines and then this pop-up will come up. Now it's in alphabetic order. As you can see, I've been to many, many websites and done many, many searches. You'll find Wikipedia. Basically, anytime you do a search on any web page um, uh, of any kind, uh, it will automatically Chrome automatically adds it here. Now it used to be that you would have to add them manually, but now Chrome just adds anything you've ever searched for uh, on a web page. It just automatically comes here, and then I'll show you how you can take advantage of that. Now in this case, um, here's Wikipedia, and you'll just have to trust me, it was not there before. And and the keyword is wikipedia.org. So what does that mean? That means let's go to a new tab. And then if I start typing wikipedia.org, and then now notice here it says press tab to search Wikipedia. That's the keyword I typed. And so I can hit tab, and then I can search directly. Without going to the front page of Wikipedia, I can search directly there. And then search, say, burritos. There we go. And here we are on the burrito page. Now, I know I've um, searched things on our website, on PCMag.com, through our search bar. So I know it's already in there. So if I went to, say, PCMag.com, which um, I just happen to know is the keyword, and then, as you can see, it says press tab to search PCMag.com. So hit tab, and then we can search, you know, iPhone. And then if you ever, so basically instead of going to PC Mag's front page and if you wanted to search up here, it automatically just goes directly to the results from the Omnibar. Kind of cool. It saves you some time. Um, also, what I'll show you is if you go to settings, uh, say you don't want to type in the domain name before your search, you can change it to anything. So you can change it to just Wikipedia and get rid of that domain nonsense. And there we go. So now the keyword is just Wikipedia. Oops. But lost it, but just trust me, it's in there. Let's, but let's double check. Um, okay, there. So the keyword is now just Wikipedia. So we're going to go to a new tab. Wikipedia. There we go. Um, in that case, it automatically came up when I just typed Wikipedia. And uh, let's search apples. There you go. It brings it to the Apple page. Great. Um, now you could change it to anything you wanted to, really. But um, So let's change it to encyclopedia and there we go so now it's the the keyword is now encyclopedia so let's do encyclopedia and now it says press tab to go to wikipedia so that was the keyword it went wikipedia so you could call it anything you could call it you know the search engine or encyclopedia face or really whatever you wanted and it would it would go to that website um, so that's kind of a cool thing uh, that you could play with forks there you go. Boom. All right, so that's a cool little trick to play with, and uh, give it a shot and have fun.